All right, yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Ransom. I'm here with a quick tutorial. I want to show you guys how you can take a drum sample or a drum loop and spread it across your keyboard and turn it into your own drum sample or drum loop. Um, so check it out. I'm starting with a new session. I'm going to import my drum loop. So drag and drop that. I'm going to convert my file. Now, if your drum loop isn't on tempo, um, it's not a big deal. If you do want it on tempo, though, you can hold option on your keyboard and at the end of your uh, region drag it and it will snap to the uh, it will time flex the audio file to your grid so you can do that if you want I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna leave as is right click go to convert and convert to new sampler track uh, from here make sure you have transient markers selected that's an important piece it's gonna chop at each transient marker instrument drum machine designer and uh, one shot zones and this is gonna make our new instrument for us it automatically made this MIDI region we can delete that so we can put our own put our own MIDI region in there record something in right there so now we should have some chops on our keyboard so if you play play your keyboard chromatically, you can hear that it's playing your file. So pretty cool, uh, but we're gonna change it up and turn it into our own rhythm. We're gonna find the hi-hats, find the kicks and, and the claps and turn it into our own little drum loop. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna bring the tempo up to about 150 and uh, turn my metronome on and record something here. I was a little off, but you can quantize that, fix that up. But yeah, you can hear we got our own little loop now. And of course, you can add audio effects and all types of stuff. Um, another cool thing you can do is come into the chops themselves in Drum Machine Designer and edit them here as well. You can change the start point of them. You can change the fades, fade in, fade out, um, you know, stuff like that. Pretty cool. Um, and then from there, once you have a pretty cool loop and it's if it's still in the MIDI, form you can uh right click and then go um bounce uh it'd be bounce in place it'd be control b or it'd be here bounce and join and bounce in place and you can uh copy my settings here and hit okay and now here you have your own drum loop your brand new drum loop file that you made so yeah Hope you guys learned something. If you did, like, comment, and uh, yeah, subscribe. Hope you have a great day. Peace out.